tucked in the bleachers at any Lawrence North High School basketball game are four distinct voices. Larry Rush, Quentin Avery, Larry Davis, and myself. You heard these same four guys yelling and screaming, do this, do that, you know, good shot, good shot. We got away with a lot of stuff for us, those referees were concerned. This quartet formed nearly a decade ago, rarely missing a road trip to watch the Wildcats girls basketball team and picking up a nickname along the way, the Four Horsemen. This season, the best yet. Wow, that's quite an upset. Lawrence North brought it all night long. The glue of the group, Larry Rush. He was a coach. He was a coach from the stand. A young lady played here named Kristen. His father told us he could hear him in Atlanta hollering, defense, defense. With his gray hair and the gray beard, he was everybody's uncle. When everybody see him, I said, man, you look like my uncle. You know, everywhere we went. Suddenly, there were no games. The coronavirus halted sports everywhere. Larry Rush fell ill, contracting the virus, and within a week, pneumonia. This past weekend at 67 years old, the heartbeat of the four horsemen was gone. Passed the phone to the wife, she read the text, and, and, and all, you know, we just broke down and cried. It's very difficult to conceive of uh, a situation next next basketball season where, where uh, you know, the one Larry isn't with the other Larry and the other three uh, gentlemen, um, you know, at, at our games. Like too many others across the country, Larry's family now struggles to put together a proper goodbye. The four horsemen plan on honoring their friend next season, keeping his seat open at games. It turns out one of the final conversations between the group was a voicemail from Larry to his crew with a simple question. Did you get your tickets yet? Like I said, it's a bit of pill to swallow. I'm gonna miss him. So, that was my partner. Save a seat for Larry Rush. If there's a game, he'll find his way over.